Hey everybody, <clears throat> today's lesson is about thumb growth. Um, now I was not born with big hands, not long or thick, um, and as primarily an outside puller, um, I want to be as difficult to hold on to as possible. Now anybody who's ever gripped up with a pipe fitter, a bricklayer, somebody who's worked with their hands for a couple of decades, they know that that hand is like a sweet potato. It's like thick and hard and just Oh, it feels insane. Uh, and I <laughs> have been the total opposite. People were surprised at my hand strength considering how easy I am to grip up with thin hands or how easy I was before I started developing them. So thin hands, shorter fingers, very short thumb. And as an outside puller, yeah, I want to be hard to hold on to. I want this thing to be like a softball. I want it to just be impossible to hold on to. So I made a decision a couple of years ago that I was going to be very deliberate and very intentional in growing my thumbs and the rest of my hand, but the rest of the hand muscles don't matter as much for the grip because only so much of your finger, you know, like even guys with really long fingers are only going to reach around so much of your hand. So twice a week, originally it was three times a week, but twice a week I do this little routine. Um, the most important thing uh, is developing this thinner pad uh, that is the muscle that adducts the thumb towards the middle of the palm. It does it this way, across, and even contracts as you bring, try to bring the knuckle of the thumb towards the center of the bottom of the hand. Belt on a loop. Um, I've only got 10 pounds on this because I've, I, I'm going to show you other exercises that I can't do with 20 or 25. But when I started out, 10 pounds was a pretty good working weight. It was hard. I couldn't do it for five sets. Um, with this, I keep it in the 20 to 30 rep range. That's light enough that you're not going to actually injure your thumb because you can get hurt. If you do this too heavy, you can't hurt yourself. But that's light enough that you're not likely to hurt yourself um, and your, your hands need more volume. You're not going to grow your, probably not going to grow your thumbs very much by doing sets of six or 10. Okay. So I keep it in the 20 to 30 rep range. 50 reps is probably too light. Like you'll get a big pump, but I don't, I don't feel that the growth stimulus is as good. I don't think it, it damages your thumb enough. And to, to make your body want to grow, you have to make it feel like it's damaged. Uh, at least in this case, like your chest or your triceps or something like that, they're going to grow from a lot less volume than what's required to make your hands grow. So first exercise I do is I set my elbow way inside. Uh, boy, this is, this is not a good height. I can do this over here. And I'll set my elbow way inside my thigh, like I'm doing a low hand top roll. And I make sure that the belt is way up on my thumb bone. Okay. I don't want it down here on the pad because I, I need to move the whole thumb and if it's down here, there's not really a lot of load. Like I can do a lot of movement without moving the weight. All right, so I get it way up there on my thumb bone. And I make sure that it stretches all the way out and I contract it all the way in. All right, I can do it straight contraction. Uh, but as you start to tire, uh, it's more likely that you're not going to be able to do that. And you just get a little bit of a little bit of a regrip and contract it while your palm is facing up. Turn over, but make sure that you do this in the same position, this, this neutral position, because that you, you're stretching the thumb muscle under load, all right? If you do this and then come back, it's just a static pronation and your, your thumb isn't, you might get a sore thumb, but you're not stretching and contracting the muscle, which is what you have to do to make it grow, okay? So I'll just go thumb towards uh, kind of the base of my pinky. And I'll, I'll, I'll vary the angle for each rep because it's about trying to hit as many angles as possible and exhausting as many fibers as possible. Like I said earlier, the thumb thinner pad kind of moves your thumb in a lot of directions. So you want to hit as many of those as you can. 20 to 30 reps and you'll start uh, maybe not on the first set, but by the third set, you're going to get a pretty nasty pump. With this full stretch and contraction, um, you want, like, it's really important to do this as you get higher in the rep range to really commit to a full rep, all right? It's going to be tempting to shorten it and just kind of pulse like this, but you're not going to get the growth that you want, all right? You'll know that it's a good rep and that you're getting the right stimulus when it feels like your thumb is actually tearing from this, okay? 
it's 20 to 30 reps, it's very unlikely that you're going to get hurt from it. Uh, but, but you should be worried a little bit that you might get hurt from it. Get a nice full stretch and it feels like the fibers are pulling apart when you do this. And then you keep going, you keep going. And eventually it's going to be so pumped and so painful that you have to stop. And that's good. When you're first starting out on this, you might actually, you, you're going to feel pain when you're recovering. I used to, when I, when I first started out, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't squeeze soap out of a, or dish soap out of a bottle uh, the day after a thumb work. Like I couldn't, like it was painful throughout the thumb pad. And I actually pulled my thumb muscle once in judo the day after a, a thumb workout because I was gripping the sleeve and, and it, it, you know, it was so exhausted. Yeah. But so it takes a little, it takes damage. Like you have to try to damage your thumbs a little bit, but you get good blood flow and these muscles are used or designed for a lot of volume. So if you, you use a lot of volume, you can make them grow significantly. So yeah, I do that. And that's my first exercise is I'll do this thinner pad really, really. I mean, I am completely locked out there. You cannot force my thumb further back and I'll bring it towards the base of my thumb. Make sure that the eccentric is not done here, all right? Do it there. You can even open your thumb a little bit to get the, the weight further out on your thumb and then bring it back, okay? It doesn't have to be a bent thumb all the time because that helps stretch it a little bit more. And just try to hit as many angles as you can during your set and really, really squeeze the shit out of your thumbs, okay? Um, and I've got a decent pump now because this is like a few sets in. Okay, the adductor pollicis is even pumped. All right, you'll get a, you'll get a pump in all of this. So if you're only going to do one exercise, this is the one to do. Um, next thing that I will do if I'm home, I use this Ivanko Super Gripper. I, I just I took one of the springs off and I set it on the lowest two settings. It's either one or two springs, um, and I just kind of set it in my hand like this, and I I pinch. And the idea is that pinching makes the adductor pollicis. Work. I mean, I'm trying to touch my thumb to my the base of my index finger like this, and that's what makes this muscle grow. If you don't have one of these, it's fine. You don't need one. You can use uh, the little you know the little clips that are, that come on machines like this. Like it actually has clips for or or uh, barbell clips. Those work too. Or you can just use a belt. Right. Set the hand nice and vertical and pinch it this way or this way. You have to use less weight than you do when you do the, the adductor pollicis, or when you do the thinner pad exercise, but very good exercise. And this, I mean, the majority of the growth that I saw in my adductor pollicis muscles happened in the first month. It was like shocking. Like somebody in my jujitsu class was like, Chris, what the hell happened to your thumbs? And I didn't even notice. I'd been training them, and I, but, but, you know, I'd seen them when I was pumped and I'm always looking at them. And I was like, oh yeah, you know what? They really have changed. And that was like the first month. And like, pff, yeah, they've continued to grow since then. But like instantaneously, once you start using them and you put them under that load, you get a quick adaptation. Or at least I did. I don't know if everybody will. So yeah, uh, the thinner exercise, the adductor pollicis exercise. And then I do one which is reverse. Um, I basically, I'll put the, like I'm doing a supination movement and I'll, I'll extend the thumb, okay? Uh, the placement of this does matter when you're using, when you're starting out, I would do closer, you know, more around the base of your thumb and just try to get a good extension here. Okay. Like this is, again, you, you, I'll do five sets or so of this in the 20 to 30 rep range. When I do the thinner exercise, after I do that, I'll, I'll drop it to like 10 pounds and I'll do a couple more sets, but, but usually by the time I get there, it's pretty cooked and I don't, I don't need to do much more. And I know that I've got other thumb exercises to do after that, so yeah, uh, plenty of volume. Anyway, yeah, start with a little bit more around the base. Don't swing the weight if you can, like try to make it very strict and, and force the thumb up. I can't do it with 10 pounds when I go up above the base. Like eventually you wanna be able to do the lift up here, but you gotta start with like two and a half or five pounds. You'll be able to lift a little bit, but you won't be able to fully open the thumb. And that's something that you need to do. Um, now that musculature is kind of down here in the arm. It's not as critical, but it's very important to do this for balance. And uh, it actually helps you coordinate a little bit for when you're doing re-grips, okay? So being able to clear that thumb and get a higher grip, this helps you with that. It's not the strength so much that matters as it is 
acknowledging that that muscle is there and being able to clear the thumb and do this. So you do these three things, uh, you can get some pretty, pretty meaty thumbs. Yeah. Um, everybody's different. Everybody's genetics are different, but if you're deliberate and you're really committed to it, you can see meaningful growth in this. So that's it guys. Good luck.